Have you ever seen a little kid who's been told to stop for whatever reason? It's something right in front of them they want, but they are told stop. Now that little kid, doesn't matter how still you want them to be, they will continue to creep forward, even if it's just a breath, because they want that thing right in front of them. It is so enticing. So when we consider in the Christian life what it means to turn from sin, there's a real difference between turning from sin and just stopping right in front of sin. So when you turn, you do a 180, you walk away from it. When you stop, it's still right in front of you, enticing you, making you maybe want to creep forward just a little bit. A little bit can't hurt, right? But God calls us to turn from our sin. And in fact, when Paul was recounting his call to ministry in Acts chapter 26, he says this. This is what he's sharing what Jesus shared with him. Jesus said, I'm sending you to the Gentiles to open their eyes so they may turn from darkness to light and from the power of Satan to God. If they just stopped and said, oh, that sin is right there. I'm not doing that sin anymore, but it's right there. It is sure going to drag them over that line. But if they turn and walk away from sin, eyes fixed fully on God, they are going to be in a much better place, moving toward the things of God and leaving behind that sin and the power of Satan. Something to contemplate today as you consider sin. Blessings on you.